Yep, I'm back cooking. I'm gonna make my most favorite Hawaiian soup, which is the Hawaiian oxtail soup. It's made famous uh, by actually Okinawan immigrants that came into Hawaii. And uh, this is uh, our version of it in Hawaii. Uh, I loved eating this, but it's freaking hell of expensive when you go back to Hawaii to eat it. Uh, and I made a bunch last time. I got three oxtails left in my pack. So what I usually do when this happens is instead of going out to buy some more, I just buy uh, beef soup bones. And you try to look for the packages where there's a lot of meat, right? And then uh, also the collagens here too with the, you know, with the bone marrows. That'll all taste good. Uh, you can use beef neck bones too, but my wife doesn't like beef neck bones. Uh, and uh, this soup will go together very well. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in hot water and get rid of all the junk uh, and boiling it. Right, just getting rid of all the junk. So that's what we're going to do right now. Oxtail soup. I love it. Hawaiian style. All right, I got the water boiling. By the way, did I tell you I'm your un Uncle Burpee Yoga? I'm from Hawaii originally. Now, I just know how to do burpees and I love to eat and cook. So, uh, also forgot to tell you, this whole recipe is going to be done on one of those pressure pots. Because, you know, if you do it regular way, it takes forever to boil and it comes out just as good, right? So, fast and efficient. I do burpees, fast and efficient exercise. And that's what we're doing this. So, now we're going to throw in... The oxtail and the meat and we're gonna boil away the impurities and we just wait so there's the bone and I'm gonna put all of them in while the meat is being purified with the hot water boil I'll show you what it looks like we're gonna start preparing the uh, hot pot pressure cooker with the ingredients and these are the three main ingredients that we put into the soup this is star anise, you can pick up in any Asian market. Uh, raw peanuts, you can have it with or without the um, skin thingy. And these are just dry oranges or mandarins, right? You can just dry them. And if you don't have dry ones, you can just use oranges and use your peeler and peel out a few pieces. We're gonna throw those all into the pressure cooker along with chicken stock or beef stock, okay? I'll show you. So there it is, so there it is. So there it is. And all we're gonna do is just throw them all in. And uh, you can throw in some, again, chicken stock or beef stock and just let it boil while we're waiting for the uh, oxtail and the bones to be rid of the purities. So it's super simple. Like I told you, man, I love to eat simple recipes. Hard recipes, I go out to the restaurants. I don't want to spend 10 hours in the kitchen. Here you go. It's been boiling for about 10 minutes. You see all this junk? It's all impurities. And you just have to keep turning the pieces over and over because it'll keep bleeding until all of it's gone. And then once it's gone, you rinse it in a cold water bath and you throw them into the pot. So I'm in the middle of rinsing out all the gunk. It's basically cold water does it. You just keep rinsing until all the gunk is gone. And then you just throw them into the pressure cooker. That's pretty much it. Just wash them. Alright, I added some uh, chicken stock in here. And now I'm going to throw in all the bones as well as the oxtail. Now the purists will tell you, oh man, you're cheating using uh, chicken stock. But hey, you know, there, again, there's no true way of doing it. I'm not trying to replicate a recipe. I'm just making stuff that my family likes to eat. And uh, I tried it without chicken stock. I tried it with chicken stock. I tried it with uh, uh, mustard cabbage, which is also popular. And I also tried it with um, uh, more peanuts, less peanuts. I tried it with chayote in there. And this is what my family loves the most, eating it like this. Basically, the recipe is very simple. It's the ingredient to show you. And now I fill it to as high as I can because we love the soup. The main thing about this uh, uh, oxtail soup in Hawaii is actually the soup plus the um, the dipping sauce. The dipping sauce I'll show you in a little bit. But this is it. All I gotta do is cover it up and put it in the pressure cooker and put it set it into soup and then cook it and then uh, pretty much done. I can add some salt in there if I want, but I usually try not to add a lot of salt into any recipe because you can always add salt afterward, but not before. And this these kind of recipes doesn't require the salt to be in anything for it to make it taste better. You can always adjust it later. 
All right, so the way I like to use the uh, electric pressure cookers is uh, I would, uh, especially for soup, I would fill it up to the top and then I'll cook it for a while and then skim out the junk because there, there's still junk that comes out of the pot. Uh, I use the Yeti brand that you can pick up at Amazon. I'll, give, I'll provide a link below. But uh, this is what I do. And then what I'll do is after this, clear out all the bubbles and whatnot, then I want to proceed to close it and have it pressure cook. Uh, the total time for me so far has been about 20 minutes from start to finish. Most of the time I was waiting for water to boil. It's a super easy soup to make. And then uh, the, ending re the ending part is easy too to make the sauce. It's, it's like a really super easy soup. And it's so fulfilling. And the people in Hawaii, uh, they used to uh, drink it uh, after a hard days of work or they have uh, some kind of a bone or shoulder problem. They, they used to drink this soup. It's good for the bones. I mean, that's what they claim, but I just end up drinking it because it tastes so darn good. So I'm going to proceed to clear out all these little bubbles and whatnot and then close the pot and I'm done with the soup basically. The next time you're going to see the soup, I'll be basically serving it with the sauce. It's that simple. And uh, in Hawaii right now, the last time I went back home, I think they were charging anywhere from 12 to $15 for a bowl. I'll show you what I mean later on, what 12 and 15. I mean, the bigger ones are like 20 something dollars for a bowl. It's crazy. All right, so it's been done for a while, but what happened is I wait for it to thaw down, and this is what happened. This top part here, is all mostly fat. So what I'm going to do is going to drain it away by going like this. See, this is all oil. See, like skimming it. Before I put it back up. See, that's oil. If you want the oil, that's great, but I don't need the oil. So that's the plan. We're going to skim it and then we're going to heat it up again. All right, I just got rid of all the oil on top of the soup. And that's what it is. Don't get grossed out. It is oxtail soup. So it's going to have a lot of oil. Now, you can throw away the oil or you can use it to cook vegetables and other stuff. Which makes it very tasty because it's like flavor oil. So now, we're going to start making the sauce for the soup. Because the soup basically is already done. Right? The first and only thing that you need to make for the sauce to make anyway is ginger and to do the ginger you need to make it look like this like mostly peel right the way you do that is with a knife you just go like this that's my buddy making the noise right that's what you're doing right now you're pushing the knife edge against the ginger and you're scraping the skin off. That's how we get the skin off gingers. Okay, for those of you that don't know. You push. And then you get a piece. From there, you dice it or mince it or whatever you're going to do to make it as small as possible. Uh, I'm not a master chef. I'm just Uncle Burpee Yoga. I cook the food that my family likes to eat. And I'm saving this so my kids know how to make it when they get older. And they want to cook. Home cooking meal. And we're not around to tell them. There. You're going to make a bunch of this. Because this. Alright, the rice is cooking. You can hear from the background. For my meal with the oxtail soup. I just finished doing all the ginger and the other part that's important is the cilantro and the green onion. So a Vietnamese old woman used to tell me that you just don't take the cilantro out from the grocery store and use it. You're going to need to soak it in water, rinse it a few times and soak it for at least, I don't know, long time. I soaked this for almost maybe one hour and the longer you soak it, the more it smells because it's coming back to life. Same thing with the green onion. So now all you're gonna do is basically chop all these up and we'll get ready for the dish. All right, the ginger is done. And then this and this is gonna go into the soup. So the only thing I wanna do is put in 
the soy sauce to this mixture. And now if you can blend this, it's even better. In Hawaii, they used to they blend it now, but it's okay. I like it like this. Now the trick is the trick is is half and half. To make the soy sauce sweet, you use half. Half water and half soy sauce. And now we're gonna start plating it. Oh. Now I put the soup here, and now all you gotta do is put the green onions and the cilantro in there. And the rice and the sauce. And this is so delicious. And a bowl like this, in that amount, probably run you about twelve to fifteen dollars in Hawaii right now, because there's a couple pieces of oxtail in there. And a bigger bowl will run you twenty to twenty five dollars. So, this is what our family likes to eat. This is burpee Uncle Yoga. We can cook. We can eat. We can do burpees. Peace out.